and all protocols observed. Your Excellency, I think the eloquence with which you share your frustration might be what convinces everybody to accept everything you're saying. <laughs> I, I, I was so convinced about this housing thing. I wish the parliamentarians were also here. Um, Your Excellency, I, I think we also share the same frustration because we've been saying the same thing. My name is Ahmed Abdullahi, Governor of Wajir, Vice Chair of Council. We've been saying the same thing in all our counties. Uh, I, I first started getting into the political space uh, not contesting, but supporting someone in 2002. And every time uh, presidential aspirants came to Wajir, they have talked of exporting meat to the Middle East. So I've told my people, we either do that these five years, or we don't talk about it ever. <laughs> so those are some of the things. Now, um, with respect to leather, I wish I knew that we could make more money from the skins <laughs> than from the meat. We've just come out of a drought situation and we've lost, you know, quite some, some uh, livestock. We could have lost even more had it not been for the interventions of national and county governments. Um, the boreholes uh, and the borehole coverage that we've had has actually helped reduce the, uh, the amount of livestock we've lost, but we've still lost a lot of livestock and they die with the meat and with the skins and everything. So um, this leather business is, is something that um, uh, we want to take very, very seriously. In a number of counties up in the north, because we keep being reminded that we have the th third largest herd in Africa, a lot of that herd is sitting in assaults in arid and semi-arid counties. And I also uh, saw that the gentleman who was presenting uh, when he was talking about the hides and skins, he didn't include camel hide. <laughs> right? And I'm sure that could be quite useful as well. So um, there's all these abattoirs that were started in these northern counties that are half complete. Some have the structures complete but not equipped. And a lot of them also have um, factored in um, some tannery in, in, in them. So probably we need to uh, then have a conversation with uh, um, Moses um, and his team to see how best to complete this. Um, and we don't mind giving them to the private sector, actually, because the um, government's not very good in running business. We can agree that you come, and I would want to encourage the private sector to come out into these arid counties um, so that you're not taking your money only to the usual suspects the risk versus return, probably there's better return if you take bigger risks. Come out to our counties, see what there is. Um, there's a lot of um, value chains. Everything that has been said here, including courts, can also happen up in the north. There are pictures I sent to you, Your Excellency, the other night of farms in Wajir. We have sensitized people about farming so much that now we don't know how to cope with it. We can't deal with the land management issue because everybody is facing off land to farm. Um, we don't have sufficient storage. Every other day, my CC sends me pictures of onions and uh, you know millets, uh, farms. We just don't know even how to deal with it now. We don't have the cold storage in place. Uh, so from one end of the continent, uh, producing nothing, we might go to the other end. We might have the glut that Ukambani had a few years back with. Uh, green grams. So um, for this leather, um, and there's a lot more that can be done. We are, uh, you know, sold to this idea um, and we're willing to work with those in the private sector to come and invest um, in, 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 in this sector. And there's a lot of hides and skins that people just waste. We use it as lipping mats. Sometimes we throw it on top of our thatched houses um, as, as roofing. So if you can show that there's money, um, definitely it's something that we're willing to um, sensitize our people on. And we also will endeavor to uh, complete this abattoirs. My sister has spoken about electricity. It's a challenge in the far-flung areas. Your Excellency, this week, three times, 
my people threatened to ban the KPLC gensets, the diesel generator gensets, because we have had electricity rationing in Wajir for the last, Wajir Tau, for the last five years. For the last five years. And uh, the generator sets that came, I think some weeks back, both of them failed because they're all generators. Um, so electricity is a problem. I went to India some time back, about two months back, to a place called Ahmedabad. And by local law, every house must have solar panels on its roof. And they generate electricity, which goes back into the grid. So if what you produce in your house is more than what you consume, you actually make money from the, from the grid. And we're wasting all that sun up in the north. So probably we also need to look at how to force Ketraco to take its transmission lines to Mandera yeah. and together force everyone to have solar panels on their rooftops to generate enough electricity and make it cheaper for these producers. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, brilliant idea on uh, energy, Governor Modomi.